Welcome back, friends. Are you ready for another unstoppable season of Movie Night? I know Denzel Washington is. This is Movie Night. Hello and welcome back to Season 2 of Movie Night. As always, I'm your host, Jonathan Paula. It's been eight months since we last reviewed a movie together here on YouTube's number one interactive movie review show. So let's get right down to the action and review tonight's film. Last November, on the very first episode of Movie Night, we discussed a Tony Scott action thriller starring Denzel Washington that primarily took place on a train. Tonight, we'll be reviewing a Tony Scott action thriller starring Denzel Washington that primarily takes place on a train. Deja vu much? Anyway, our first film tonight is Unstoppable. It's the most recent film from the Scott Washington pairing, released nationwide on November 12th. Denzel stars opposite up-and-coming Hollywood heartthrob Chris Pine, both of whom play railroad workers in Pennsylvania. Inspired by the events of the Crazy Eight's runaway incident from 2001, Unstoppable's plot is pretty simple. An out-of-control train carrying hazardous materials is barreling down the tracks towards populated areas, and veteran engineer Frank Barnes, Washington, and newbie conductor Will Coulson, Pine, are seemingly the only ones in position to chase down the locomotive and stop it before it destroys the town of Stanton. From the outset, this movie is a wall-to-wall -wall nail biter, even though you already know how it's going to end. Washington and Pine are terrific together, giving us some great character development with just a few lines of dialogue. Rosario Dawson, Kevin Dunn, and Ethan Suple round out the supporting cast with some believable, if unmemorable, performances. This being a Tony Scott thriller, no one is really expecting any Oscar nominations for Unstoppable come next February. But that certainly doesn't make it a bad film. Relying on the most basic of dramatic elements, Scott is able to craft a very finely honed and expertly polished 98-minute action film. In today's world of CGI-heavy movies and IMAX 3D, it's refreshing to see a movie that, dare I say it, is reasonably realistic with the execution of its action sequences. Now, the events leading up to that action might not always make the most sense, but it's great popcorn entertainment nonetheless. There's not much here in terms of surprises, breakout performances, or any cinematic achievements, but Unstoppable feels familiar, a good old-fashioned action movie that delivers on suspense and drama. Besides the lack of a conventional antagonist, the only thing I didn't quite like about this film was Scott's frequent use of revolving camera angles, a technique he's used in the past with much success, but sometimes it feels overused and distracting for much of the movie. For my five-word summary, though, Unstoppable is an old-fashioned action nail-biter. Well, that's what I thought about the film Unstoppable. Now let's see what you had to say on Twitter and on Facebook. All right, now time to bring in the Raidomatic, redesigned in beautiful high definition, to help score Unstoppable. A double great. Now, I thought this movie delivered so well in the action and thrills department, I was able to overlook some of the simpler plot elements and underdeveloped supporting cast. I scored it an 8 out of 10. Now, I didn't have much to go on here, because this is the first movie we're reviewing this season, so I didn't have a poll from last week, obviously. But judging by what you guys said on Facebook and Twitter, many of you praised this film for its excitement and Denzel Washington's acting. You scored it an 8 out of 10 as well. But that does it for tonight's review. Now let's take a look at some tweet critiques. As always, if you're going to the movies this weekend, make sure to tweet your review with the JPMN hashtag to have it featured on an upcoming episode of Movie Night. Next Wednesday, we'll be reviewing The Expendables, an over-the-top action flick starring Sylvester Stallone, and Eat, Pray, Love, a Julia Roberts romantic comedy vehicle. Both are brand new on DVD this week, so I hope you get the chance to buy, rent, or download them before next week's episode. Until then, please let me know what you think about these two films in the comments down below. Well, that does it for tonight's season premiere of Movie Night. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you right back here next Wednesday.